सो लेट एस सी ये हाउ डू यू से दैट वेन बिटवीन द टू प्लेट्स अ नंबर ऑफ डायलैक्ट्रिक आर प्लेस्ड ओके एंड इन दिस in this case we are just taking it as a two a simple dielectric it can be even more than two not a problem and this particular case the entire region is filled with the dielectric of course k2 and k1 having the dielectric constant capacitance is c1 and c2 okay and the thickness is t1 and t2 that is the distance between the two plates was d and now you can see that this distance is being covered some to some part by this Uh, the capacitor having capa or the dielectric having dielectric constant k1 so i'll call this as my first capacitor this will be my first capacitor because i can imagine i can imagine a metallic plate over there okay a very thin metallic plate so that makes my first capacitor and this will become my second capacitor and i am calling the value of the capacitances as c1 and c2 no problem which means in this particular case the dielectric slabs are parallel to the plates itself and when this happens when this happens then we will interpret or we will take it as the series connection of the capacitors which means these two capacitors i'll imagine to be connected in series so this is equivalent to having two capacitors like this connected in series no problem of course the dielectrics are filled this is having capacitance c1 this is having capacitance c2 they are connected between the two plates a and b no problem the first one is uh, having a dielectric constant of k1 the second one is having a dielectric constant of k2 no problem this is till distance t1 and this is till t2 all right and we have used it such that the entire volume is covered the entire volume is occupied so if i have to write the formula of c equivalent so what i can write for series i know 1 by c equivalent is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 now what are the values of c1 and c2 so the formula of c c is equal to epsilon not a by d we all know this correct right so since the dielectric slabs are placed in such a manner that they are parallel to the plates this type of connection we call it as what series connection and we'll redraw an equivalent circuit like this always okay now once we have got this let's write down the values of c1 and c2 so what will be c1 you see in both the cases for both of these dielectric slabs because it is inserted in between the two plates says that they're parallel to the plates itself which means the area is going to be the same and if the area is going to be the same then i am going to get epsilon not a epsilon not a by i would have written in normal case d right but over here it is of thickness t1 so epsilon not a by t1 and one more thing this would have been the case if it was a air capacitor because it has a dielectric constant of k1 i need to add k1 over here as well all right what about c2 c2 is going to be equal to k2 epsilon not a by t2 now take these values place it in this and write down the final formula of c equivalent this is what you are supposed to do no problem okay so then only you will be able to find the capacitance of the combination so what is going to be the value of c equivalent i am directly going to write it because i suppose you will be able to solve it yourself right okay you are going to get you are going to get 1 by c equivalent will be equal to 1 by c equivalent if you place all these values will be equal to 1 by epsilon not times a you will have t1 by k1 plus t2 by k2 t1 by k1 plus t2 by k2 and in this particular case because we have only two dielectrics but if you have got more than two dielectrics also you can just go on extending this formula take the reciprocal of it and then you finally end up getting the final formula in case of series combination no problem so this is how you are supposed to deal with the dielectric and its combination in form of series this is a formula that you should remember this is something that you should star mark and figure out very simple no problem yes all of you have written down this formula you all know the derivation also so finally if if you want to write it in c equivalent form no problem you can just take the reciprocal and express the formula easy 
which means when the distance between the two plates is getting divided in terms of the dielectric, I will perceive that as a series combination. This is the key point. To identify by looking at the diagram, you should be able to identify that this is actually this circuit and nothing else. So if you are able to redraw the circuit, trust me, half of your work is done already. Now it's all about just calculating the value and plugging in the value in terms of the formula. No problem. Shall we go ahead? Shall we look at the next type? Okay. The next type as you would have guessed for sure, is going to be the parallel combination. Now in parallel combination, what happens is that we place these dielectric perpendicular to the plates, right? So the dielectric slabs are placed perpendicular to the plate such that, in other words, we can say that this is the area A and you are dividing it in terms of area C. So this type of combination will be a parallel combination. You can also get something like a mixed combination as well. So what will be the equivalent circuit? First thing, think about it, that if you look at this, that is first dielectric slab, the potential across its end is going to be the same as that of potential, that is potential difference between one and two, correct? Even for the second one, it's the same, right? Which means I can redraw the circuit like this point number one, I'll have one and this goes to point number two. Another one, they are parallel to each other. And let us say now we are saying that this is C1, this is C2, the dielectric constant for the first one is K1, the, for the second one is K2. What will be C equivalent? Very simply, the formula that we use for parallel combination. C equivalent is going to be equal to C1 plus C2. Right? What will be the value of C1 and C2? C1 is going to be equal to K1 times epsilon naught. Now, is the area same? No, the area is not the same, right? This is A1, this is up to this fun, this part, and this is the rest remaining, right? So now this is A1 and this is A2. So K1 epsilon naught A1. And is this thickness same? The distance between the plate is, what is the thickness of this dielectric slab also, right? So divided by A. No problem. What about C2? C2 is equal to K2 epsilon naught A2 divided by D. So in case when you are placing the dielectric slab like this, which is perpendicular to the plates, then what kind of combination are you getting? You are getting a parallel combination. Easy. The idea is to identify this and replace it with a circuit like this. This is what you need to learn. Once you have done this, it's all about writing the formula of capacitance and then plugging in the C equivalent formula. That's it. It's all done and dusted. Okay. So what do you get now for C equivalent? If I uh, place the value of all this, you know that epsilon naught by D will be common. So you'll be left with K1A1 plus K2A2. That's it. This is the simple formula of C equivalent. So you can directly find out this formula. You can star mark this formula. But the main and important thing is, to redraw this circuit in this format and identify that is it a series combination or is it a parallel combination. All right, no problem. Easy, you will understand this. Even if you have got more than more than two, let us say three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no problem. C equivalent still will be equal to will be equal to epsilon naught by D. A1, K1 plus A2, K2 up to An, Kn. No problem. Okay. Easy, right? Super easy. All of you got used to this? Fine. So now I'm sure that you have noted down the formula. 